Yo, 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 how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video of MLB 9 Innings 21. My name is Brian, and today for this video, we're going to do something a little different. Usually, we'll go over club battles, open up a team select like, uh, pitcher batter pack. I can never say that correctly. And then see if we can do something else. But for today, I actually want to give a little beginner's video for all the new people that are playing this game. I've been getting a lot of comments. Hey, I'm new. What do I do? I've been stuck on level, I mean, overall at 80 to 90 for about three months. I'm confused. I'm lost. What is farming? Uh, what is Nox? Stuff like that. Those kind of comments. And it's been a lot. So kind of want to, I know a lot of people are going to watch this and be like, I already know this stuff. Well, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to help out the new people because it seems like there is a lot of them that are pretty confused. So kind of want to go over that. I'm not going to go too deep into detail on how to download Nox and how to get it started and stuff like that because there is already a video out there by the YouTuber named Jad. So kind of don't want to, you know, take up somebody else's video. I mean, he already did that and he explained it the best way possible. I mean, I don't think I could have explained it any better. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to download Nox, I would advise to go check out his video. Uh, he explained it to the bone, so there's no point of me doing another video to it. But yeah, but I do kind of want to explain how I go by my day-to-day -day basis of farming and what do I do? How do I open up Nox? Stuff like that. So let's get into it. First, uh, let's actually show what we got for club. I was predicting yesterday breaking bats, but we got something a little better. We ended up getting TBD. So hooray for us. I'm not even going to try right now. Like, there's no point. <laughs> Anywho, so let's go over our inventory. Usually things that we do on Tuesday. Uh, So tell me how I almost have the same amount of diamond packs as ultimate player packs. They're just the ultimate player packs are not dropping this week for me. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm getting gold player packs. I'm getting other things. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. Four diamond packs. I still haven't even got my diamond from Arcade. So, we'll most likely end up with five or six by the end of by Friday. So, hey, I'll take it. So, yeah. Uh, we are going to open up our premium vintage player packs. Hopefully, we get a legend. We got to have that confidence. It will come one day. We're going to get a legend. And it's going to be a crazy, crazy video. Imagine we get a legend around the time that we get our new Team Sig. And then our Miley Sig comes out to turn out to be a Team Sig as well. Oh, that would be insane. Like, I mean, last video with, like, I actually counted and it was like seven primes that we saw. So we pulled three from packs and we saw four from combos. That was an insane video. But can we top that? That's the question. And uh, we also are at 30 skill change tickets. So by the time the new six come out, uh, we are going to skill change Machado. I know, I know. Don't kill me. I'm not going to be picky. We're going to work with what we got because I learned my lesson. I've been getting freaking stomped. It's, it's very hard to stay alive in D3 with just two team six. It's very hard. So yeah, that's basically it. All right, so let's actually open up that. I lost my train of thought, sorry. Team select pitcher slash batter. We're still hoping for a Muncie. Pee Wee would be great. Anybody that can improve our overall at this point that we don't already have. But we're most likely going to get a Turner or a Seeger, like always. And that looks like Machado. I missed the button here. This is so annoying. Hernandez. How many Hernandez do I have? I have like four or five. All right. I'm starting to think that I'm wasting my time trying to get this Muncie. I'm most likely going to start going for pitcher. But it's like, I need that Muncie. All right. So that was basically a waste. Let's see. I mean, I can train him up to 90 overall, and then eventually, if I ever decide to switch my mentor from 
plus one to six to pitchers or batter. I can do that because I have shit ton of batters. Nice one, two, three. Four KKs already. All right. So, uh, things to do for when I started, I basically just ran league mode the way I run league mode. Show you, for example. So, depending on your level, will depend on which season you'll play. Since I'm already maxed out, obviously, I'm going to play at the last season. But make sure that you're getting the max amount of rewards for the season that you're playing. Once you start getting better and better, you can move up from, I think it starts from like 25. No, not 25, probably like 20 all the way to 30. What season is this? I don't, I don't even know. I don't remember. 34. So yeah, I'm at 34, which is the max most likely the 35 is going to come out soon so we'll see they also have like a a master league or something like that coming out i'm not sure so yeah, i'll go i'll use a lot of people just go through the season they'll go through like 40 and like get a final diamond reward at the end of the season i just i mean i don't really care for that anymore i just will play here play ball I'll just play wild card. So I'll you what I I'm sorry, I can't even speak right now. Confusing myself. I will play wild card the first two games. I will always use my best pitcher. So basically you do is play all and then just auto play. Usually games last from like forty to fifty minutes depending on how many runs you score or how many runs they score on you. And then when that's done, or I get out of here. Well, thank you for hitting me. Ow, that hurts. So basically, once that's done, I'll show you guys. Leave. When that game finishes, then the second game will still be using your uh, starting pitcher, your first one. And then you'll play that one. And then I'll just come back and then reset it. So I'll come back here, go to settings, reset league, and then I'll do the same thing again. That way I'm using my starting pitcher and I always, and I also back then, now it doesn't really matter since they're all freaking sigs, but I would make sure that my starting pitcher always had, why is this? Whatever. My starting pitcher always had, um, the condition drinks up that way i am not prepared for this video i am so confused i don't even know what i'm talking about <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'll use uh the condition drink that way he has a little boost to his stats because i will always be using that kershaw and uh and farming so yeah so that explains it for that also another thing that uh other, you should always play other game modes rank battle is always very very important and I have a, so this is basically my tank team. I mean, for, for, for beginner videos, I mean, for the be beginner players, I don't think you need to worry about a tank team because, I mean, you can, but your team is basically a tank team, if that makes sense. So just play this. I would avoid buying any of these at, at that point in time of the game. Just make sure you make everything for training. So I'm kind of almost done. I'm missing about five, if I'm mistaken. And this is going to take a really long time, but make sure you get all these maxed out. Very, very important. I don't know why, but it's very important. So rank battle is always a must. Arcade is another thing. So if you're starting, you don't have, probably have like three diamonds. Arcade is another way to get... A diamond pack so let me see rewards so it will reward so if you max out to 100 you will end up getting a diamond pack at the end so every month i was getting a diamond pack and then you know throwing them in my lineup so basically for the beginner levels if you're going for a set deck 
I would advise you to first make sure you get everybody, get all diamond cards, and what you have at the end, whatever deck you have closer to, I will go for that deck. That's what you usually would do. I didn't do that. I actually just started looking for um, Dodgers off rip. And then another thing that I would advise that actually made things a lot better. We didn't have this back then was the club. What I just did, the team select diamond. So I would advise you to join a club. Join a club and then hopefully their club craft will be, I think, what's this? I don't know what level, but you can pick pitcher slash batter. So this is something we didn't have back then. Usually we'll wait for a team select diamond to go off and drop in the store. And that will be a way for us to, you know, get a team player. Also, another thing, make sure you get your challenges done. Nope, not collections. What am I doing? Uh, guide missions. Make sure you get these done. This is not it. Nope, it was not guide missions. Well, make sure you get those done as well because they do drop diamond packs. Okay, not diamond packs. I haven't done this in so long. I don't remember. It was missions. Okay, so uh, these missions, where are they? Okay, achievement. So they drop diamond packs as well. So make sure you get those. Some of them drop team select diamond packs. I haven't even finished them. No, which one was it? It's not these. It's not these either. So it was the guide, the guide missions. Yeah, so that's a live team management drops a team select diamond pack. Player development drops a stick change. Hmm, I could have sworn they dropped more team select diamonds I guess I was wrong I haven't done I, I did this a long long time ago so I really don't remember I don't remember it being alive I'm pretty sure it was a team select diamond pack here and they just changed it when the season came back on so yeah those are ways club is another thing so make sure you join the club arcade is another way clutch I mean you can play clutch I mean I only use clutch for getting the skill change tickets which is really hard to do somebody just text me and skill change tickets that's what i usually need at this point in the game i, I don't really care about anything else but just skill change tickets so yeah i think those are all the modes you can actually play uh pick them when the season goes live uh you, it's basically like a guessing game. Um, you pick which team win, and then if you go on a streak, you get rewards. Obviously, I suck at picking, or I would forget. I'll be like on a six streak or five streak, and then I'll forget to pick, and then I'll have to start over. So uh, they give good rewards, too. If you go on a 10 streak, you can get a grade increase. Another thing for grade increase, I will only use them for prime players or sick players. I wouldn't waste my time using them on regular players that you want to get in your lineup, but that's totally up to you. If you want to do that, you can do that. But I would only use them for a team prime or a team sick. That, but that, like I said, is up to you. All right, so let's see. Here in the check-in event, I would never buy any of these things. I did once upon a time buy these and I did pull uh, my Prime Martin out of these. So it is possible if you're wondering, you could pull Prime players out of this pack. I think I bought them by like four or five times and I only pulled a Prime player once. So at your own risk. <laughs> All right. So now uh, I know you guys have been go we're gonna go over uh what do i do and how do i farm with nox so i'm gonna go to my other screen so if i buy to this one 
So this is basically my main screen. My setup doesn't actually look like this because I have another monitor and I just switched it to the other side, but I'm not going to show that because there's no point of moving into three different scenes. I could just do it all at once. So this is OBS. This is my recording software where I record my videos. And then when you download Knox, you're going to get this. You can get two applications. One is called Knox. And I actually deleted it so that I'm over here. And then the other one's called multi drive. So that's what you're going to want to open up every day. If you could open up Knox, but it's only going to open up one instance. So there's no point. So it just opened up multi drive. And then uh, you can create an instance. I already have four created. Like I said, I would advise you to go watch Jad's video before you watch this. Oh, not before you watch this. Oh, before or after, it doesn't really matter. But if you're watching this and you're still a little confused, I would advise you to go watch his video. Then he'll give the big runaround around it and then come back here and then you'll see how I do things. So this one's different from the other ones because this one's already open. So basically what Knox does is create a lot of these. I mean, you can minimize it, maximize it, however you want to your liking. And then I actually have four of these running and then I also have four other phones running. Because obviously, I, I mean, I could run more instances, but I do other things on my computer, play other games while this is, you know, while my farming system is going on. So I'm not trying to, you know, maximize my RAM and then have nothing to do when I can play. So, yeah. So basically, you'll click here. It'll open up instance and it opened up in my other screen. So let me bring it over here on this side. And whenever this wants to take its time. So let's actually set this up. Uh, maybe we can. All right, so it opened up uh, for your data safety. Please back up. I asked one of my clubmates about this. I just click, click, click X. I don't, I'm not, I'm scared to click yes or no. So you open up this. So another thing, when you're doing Knox, you can only set one at a time. You can't do it multiple at a time because once you log into one, basically what you create is a phone. Like let's just say this is a phone and then this is a phone. Once you sign into this one, it'll log you off the other one. So you'll set this one up first, but once the games are playing, then it won't log you out. But if you're like in a home screen and then I come back to this one and try to, um, set the game is going to log me out of this one. So you literally have to do it one by one by one. It's very annoying, but it is what it is. I mean, is this basically the game not wanting you to run many instances or log into the same account? A hundred, well, I would say log into the same account at the same time, basically. So it's up. We are going to set up our game because I have not farmed anything at all today because it is very early and I just woke up. I was going to get this video over with, chill for a little bit and then go to work. All right, so now I have one device opened up. Let's go to next, go to next, next, go to next. If you do have these, I think it's like the boost. The coins, I will use them, but I mean, I'm not using them because I'm already basically maxed out. About to hit, I actually hit 10 million yesterday and I had to buy a whole bunch of condition drinks. Yeah, so while that loads, let's open up another one. So here's another one. So while that loads, I would usually will open up while they're loading. That way I set them up all as fast as possible. So here, click, click, play all. Hey, auto, and then that one's done. So it's going to play on its own. I'll come back and reset them around. I'll say I'll get usually give it to like 40 to 45, maybe 50 minutes. So then uh, depending on how you do it, you set them up next to each other, run as many as you like, depending on your computer specs. Um, I would say you can run about six or seven with 16 gigabytes of RAM. 
you have 32, which I will be having very soon because I'm waiting for my RAM to come in and I also bought another NVMe drive. So that should, my storage will be a lot faster. However, that works. That'll be coming in soon. And I will, I did speak to my club member. I did tell him he, so we did come into agreement that I am going to be uh, running another team just to help out the club. I'm gonna be working on the Orioles uh, team. It's a hundred and five overall, but it's a it's a good team. Like I'll, I'll show you guys after I finish going through this. But yeah, I'm not gonna set the last one. I mean, I'm gonna set that obviously off camera, but I'm not gonna go through it because I actually want to show that team off and then just end the video there. So you see how that's running. Click here. Now, in the case that I was still in the home screen and I click this, it would have logged me out. But since the game is already running, it's not going to log me out. So this is basically that instead of to all the new people, instead of running one game at a time and getting a basic player pack, and then probably after like five games that you already ran and you wasted like three, four hours, you get finally one premium player pack with this you're running three four more instances and you're getting the odds of getting more packs is a lot greater so instead of getting one premium after like five hours you're getting five premiums so you basically boosted up your chances five times or four times or depending on how many instances you want to run so that's why i'm getting so many packs so go here, same thing as before. Now, once we're done with this one, I'm going to go back to this one right here. And you're going to see how this is going to log me out because I already signed in again twice. Play all. And then you just let it autoplay. Don't um, autoplay it from the beginning because you're not going to get the rewards out of it. I mean, what's it called? I'm not sure if it's called autoplay. So yeah, so let's go back to this screen. Click this. Let's actually go back to our scene one. Oh, wow, it didn't lock me out. Oh, it's because the game had already started. So anywho, that's why it didn't lock me out. All right, so let's go back. Let's leave. So yeah, that's basically it. It should lock me out now. Yeah, there you go. Now lock me out. I had to log back in. And everybody's texting me. Here, click here. All right, so now we're back. So yeah, guys, that's basically my day-to-day -day farming. I do have other phones. Like I have like two iPhones and like an Android, three iPhones and an Android that I run on the side. But we are going to be getting more RAM and a better um, drive for our storage, which is going to run the games a lot faster. So we will be working on the Oreos team. Just let me show you guys that first. <coughs> Where is it? All right. So, so this is the team we're going to be working with. Hello? Can I not click it? Sorry, failed. So it is a set deck Oreo team. We'll do a video on this. Just wanted to show you case it does have two sigs, which are relief pitchers, which is a good thing to knock out the way. Some of them have good skills. Some of them uh, have decent skills, but we'll be working on this team on Tuesdays and on Fridays, we'll be uh, doing videos on our Dodgers team. So yeah, so yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's what I do. And that's what I did in the beginning stages, which was basically arcade. Um, make sure you complete all the guide missions. That way you can receive all these packs and rewards as well. It really isn't that hard. Join a club before you can get um, club coins and then once you reach a thousand, you can open up a pitcher slash diamond batter pack, which we didn't have that before, which is a great thing now for new teams. 
do clutch, make sure you get your clutch battles in. That way you can get some team sticks. So that way you can get your players skills as well as you work your way up. And then for a ranked battle, make sure you, wow, people keep playing and I'm, all right. So yeah, make sure you do your ranked battles. That way you get your rank training up as well. You can also do PVP. I don't play PVP because I suck at PVP. I manually, I horrible trash, the worst ever. And yeah, that'll be all guys. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do a pack opening on Friday. Hopefully we'll get to five or six diamond packs. We can open up that many. So yeah, guys, thank you so much. I hope I'm pretty sure I'm sorry that I was like blabbing everything, didn't kind of know what I was saying, but I tried my best to explain what I do and how I explain Nox. If you want to know how to download this, like I said, go watch Chad's video. He has a very good tutorial on it. See you guys. Thank you so much for all your support and see you guys on Friday.